Okay, I thought I would just record, uh, I guess, some research of a question that came up on the QGIS Reddit of how to create a grid that would cover the UK, uh, a one kilometre by one kilometre grid, and would show longitude and latitude. So if you go to the World Bank uh, and search for um, country polygons, they have a, um, a number of files that you can use. This one is the one that I selected, which is this World Country Polygon, high definition. Obviously, the, a lot of countries have disputes and things like that, so you can take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. Uh, I extracted the zip file and there's a bunch of files in here. Uh, the shape file is the biggest one and it is a, uh, I think it's basically a ESRI type shape format. Now you can just drag that file and drop it into the layer folder and you'll get a, a layer showing these polygons. Um, so if I do a show feature count, there are 251 multi-part type objects, which I guess would correspond to the countries. Uh, one quick little thing that you can do is, if you're not familiar with, uh, I guess, creating your own symbology, uh, I've just create sing single lay layers. Now, it happens to be there's a lot of fields associated with each polygon. Uh, the default one for the name is in Arabic, which um, isn't very helpful for me, but if I go name N, I've worked out that that's the English one, yeah. <coughs> and I select it. And so now uh, each country uh, and its borders are showing uh, there. Now you'll notice, obviously, that when you select a country, the associated uh, islands and other geographies around that country are also selected. So <clears throat> I think this is the Canary Islands, and I'll get myself into trouble if I talk too much about it. Um, but uh, here for the UK, we're showing uh, Northern Ireland and the uh, these Scottish islands, as I understand it. So you'll notice that the um, CRS is in WGS84, which uh, is, uh, I guess, the pretty standard one that a lot of people are familiar with, which is uh, longitude and latitude uh, uh, in degrees. And uh, so obviously, this isn't as useful for distances as what uh, other uh, coordinates might be. Anyway, uh, <coughs> but uh, if we want to just focus on creating a grid over the UK, the easiest way is to create a layer with just that. So I've selected the UK. I can go to Edit, Copy Features, and then from the same menu, Paste Features as a new, and in this case, I'll create a new scratch layer called UK. And so now we have a, a purely a UK layer. Okay, um, now I can create a grid over the top of this using the processing toolbox. Uh, now if I search for grid uh, and it comes under vector creation, create grid. Now the problem that I see is that as, as it is, the grid will be in um, WGS84, so in degrees. So obviously what I really want to do is use a grid that's more appropriate for the purpose, which is to create a kilometre by kilometre grid. So there's a couple of ways you could do it. I could re-project the, um, the map to, to the new grid, or I've just selected it here. Now, the British National Grid would be appropriate. As you can see, once I've selected that grid CRS, I now have the option of um, of meters. I will just change this to kilometers. So we've got a one by one kilometer grid. I will um, choose 
where I want to um, get the grid created and I just want to create it over that area so I've selected just this particular area and then if I run it I'll end up with a, a, a new object right that's done a, a transform now as you can see because this is now in meters it doesn't look like a square grid now you can I can change this um, to a to a different grid pattern if I want or a different CRS uh, and I have done that earlier so we'll um, we'll do that now obviously the other problem is I've got um, I'm covering the whole object uh, and I have around uh, one and a half million objects so the way to um, to clip that is to jump into your toolbox and find the clip object and so what I want to do is clip um, this current grid layer with an overlay layer which is the UK just create a, a, um, a new temporary layer again run that and away we go so now we have a clipped layer that only has grid objects for the UK okay now each of these objects um, if I uh, select the uh, attribute tool you'll see that they have the left and right coordinates in basically as, as I'm going up and along I'm the incrementing by a thousand so by meters now I can actually show them specifically on this table if I want um, and so the way that I can do that is jump in here and again um, uh, now that's fine because it's done the yep that's that's all good uh, so I can create a, a label on here and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some computed labels now something I've prepared earlier is a very simple one would be to um, bung that in there and and so so now we just have a um, an object now actually that's the wrong one Okay, let's jump in here, find the recent one, sorry about that, um, yeah, so I've got the ID still there, alright, so now we have the coordinate there, and if, if we go in each object you'll see that I've got the, um, the X and Y coordinate, but what um, the original poster really wanted was uh, it in um, terms of um, degrees and minutes so we can use the uh, transformation tool to do that uh, so I have this one here which is nicely rounded I'll just grab that there and so what this is doing is it's got an X and Y uh, you can see there and I'm rounding it to remove the um, the extra decimal places and then I'm doing a transformation here from the grid UK grid back to WGS84 right so that's what these two CRS so it's doing a transformation and then I'm doing a round here showing x and y coordinates and just rounding it just showing four decimal places so we do that there and and then if i just apply that so now you, you can see we're getting um we're showing the degrees etc 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 so we can see that obviously on the on the screen but that may not be all that useful uh, as we go and if I go further south to I uh, know we're around Greenwich or somewhere around here you'll see we're, we're getting to almost 
zero degrees of longitude, which is what we would expect. Okay. Now, um, if you want to uh, look at this attribute table in there, it's not that exciting, right? So we've got these x and y. We don't have the the uh, degrees coordinates that you may want to do. So um, there's a nice little uh, tool already to do, which is add x, y, fill to the layer. Now, if I do this as it is, uh, and I say, OK, I want it to show the WSGS84 coordinates in there. Um, don't do anything special with the fill prefix. When I run that, you'll notice that I'm getting an error because these are multi-point features. And it's just the way that this that grid was created. So before I do that, what I need to do is convert it from a multi-part to a single part. So I'll run that. So now it's creating another another object. Now I've lost those attributes. I could copy them, copy them across, at least from the display. But um, so I've done that conversion. Now I can go back to the toolbox, go add X, Y fields to the layer. Right. So we run that. So now it's going to create another layer with the fields added. So now if I look at the attributes. Right, so now we have both, I guess this is because of the grid, we've got two coordinates in there. I'm not sure <laughs> exactly which which is the, the co corresponding coordinates. Uh, I'll leave that as an exercise for the radio, but, but at least we've got uh, the longitude and latitude there in, in each uh, of the items as we go through. You can see... That's incrementing, and then once I've now added that as fields into this object, I could then do an export, and I think I yep, export to spreadsheet. Go in there, we'll just create a file, save it to the file uh, on the uh, desktop. Let's call it uh, UK Grid. Yep. I'm just uh, saving it in, in open document format. Run that. Oops, I uh, haven't uh, used the field aliases, the column, column headers. I haven't selected the layer, so we just want to get our added fields layer. Done that. Exporting that. Overriding the existing spreadsheet. It's actually the ODS format that I was going to do. And that should be running, running, running. Yep, and it's done. And if I open up my Excel. So there we have a grid with um, basically a whole bunch of X and Y coordinates for that particular um, for, the, for that country so hopefully this is useful to somebody